week friends welcome back to my channel i am nikki and i am so glad you stopped on by if this is your first time here on my channel welcome please join the party and subscribe of course there's a little button down below all you have to do is click that and if you have already subscribed thank you so much i greatly do appreciate it so uh this wig here is who i'm going to be talking about today it's a doozy of a wig review so you don't want to miss a single solitary thing i have to say about her so please watch all the way through and also go down in the comments and give me your respectful feedback i also happily do take requests therefore if there is a wig you would like me to review drop that down in the comments too and I will look into it for you but um I always have my little spiel that I always say in the beginning of all my videos so without further ado um I just want you to know that this company is not only dropping some brand new styles they are also dropping some brand new colors that we're gonna be talking about so who I'm talking about is Oshian and she is from Outre. She is an HD lace front and the color I have her in is DRFF Honey Cream, which is one of those brand new colors along with these two right here. Love the color selection that she is available in. Uh, if you're familiar with their stock cards, they do show uh, special colors here on the back. Uh, she has a pre-plucked lace parting. She is also heat safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And I picked her up from Elevate Styles for $31.11. Now I do want to mention something to you real quick in regards to the prices, especially if it's a wig I picked up from Elevate Styles, because they typically do offer a discount code. So I usually get a little bit money off but anyway um i always also show you what i'm wearing from my eyeshadow look so today i am wearing the violet sage palette from ace Boutte, and here are the shades inside of it i got this just a few days ago in my boxy charm for this month all right, so now we can talk about Miss Oshi Ann. And I knew she was going to be a huge hit the second I knew that she was going to be released. Uh, so I, like many other people, just patiently waited for her to finally drop. And I did honestly have a difficult time deciding what color to pick her up in. And this one I really love right here. And that one is DRFF Honey Chestnut. Stunning, and I will pick it up eventually, but I thought everybody else was probably going to be reviewing her in that color, so I wanted to try something different. And plus, it's also a new color I've never tried before, so here we have it. <laughs> it's a beautiful color, isn't it? I love a good blonde, and it's just something about the uh, tone of this one that I really like. It does have a slight bit of resemblance to the uh, DR4 Golden Honey Blonde because you can see obviously that honey in there since this is honey cream but you do have a little bit more of a lighter tone with this one and you can see that right around the face framing of course you do have slight darker roots it looks like to be a number four in my opinion. It's slightly harsh. I do kind of wish that it wasn't um, as prominent as it is, but what can you do? I have no control over that, but I don't mind it all too much. I do prefer a darker root anyway, but just be aware it's a little harsher. However, I'm not all too mad at the blend of it or transition, I should say, and you can see how that all is. And the color is really pretty. I do like how it reflects off the light. That's really gorgeous. Beautiful luster is to be expected. And her texture, um, I describe it as a light yakky, uh, which means there's a bit of silkiness and coarseness, and it's a really good balance of the two. So that's why I kind of always explain what I mean by that. Um, but I think it's a great multicultural texture. It's, she's really super soft. The hair feels realistic. And she's a great length, 24 inches. Now, I'll be honest, I would have probably guessed 22, but that just goes to show you that it's always a guess. But thankfully, they tell us now on the stock card, so I am really grateful for that. Um, but she has these beautiful layers, and what is amazing, too, is she's a center part and just the way that this kind of 
comes down and fans out into these soft, beautiful waves right here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I really love it. I think that this is one of those styles you can wear for like almost Ooh. any situation. And sorry, that's my dog Gretzky. Um, but anyway, any situation you could pretty much wear her for. I think she would be great for a date night or something like that, especially with the right outfit. She has got some sex appeal. Um, her density... I think is great too. So she has a little bit of volume that is a natural volume. That's what I really like to see the most. So that way it looks all natural. <laughs> what else gonna say about it? Natural means natural. Um, but let me show you what she looks like from the side and the back. All right, so the side. I Okay, so um, I do like her to the front more just based on the way the style is all put together. So I just prefer that. Um, but she's got some great body too. You see that? I love to do the little bounce test so you can see that gorgeous body that she has and the movement is so natural as well. Um, now, thankfully, she is pretty low maintenance um, in terms of tangling. Not really anything severe that I've come across. And the few tangles I did were thankfully easy to remove. So I'm just running my fingers through her. I mean, that's typically what I do. I'm not a big fan of brushes or combs with wavy and curly units. And you can see that it's actually really easy to just kind of finger comb her. And then she just bounces right back into place with that beautiful volume. Uh, so sometimes styles like this can be higher maintenance, especially with layers like this that sometimes just don't want to fall back into place like they should, but she is not giving me any problems with that. Obviously, you can see how it worked out for me when I ran my fingers through her. So I don't think she's one that is going to cause you a lot of trouble or headache with having to tidy up throughout the time that you are wearing her. Uh, shedding, thankfully, is also not excessive. Sometimes the lighter tones do shed a little bit more. It's kind of hit or miss, though. I have been noticing that there is an improvement with that. So, yeah, not any excessive shedding with her. Uh, so, again, I already mentioned she's a center part, as you already can see. Uh, I think the parting space is really nice. So it is pre-plucked like it says on the stock card. So I think the depth and width is perfect. Very easy to blend with some powder. It's also very important that the wig lays flat to the head. So that makes it easier to blend and gives you that more natural look too. And the hairline here with the baby hairs really isn't all too bad. Um, I prefer baby hairs, that's just me. And I don't lay them down. I like to just wear them out like this because my own natural hair uh, has these like wispies as I always call them. These are a little bit thicker though, so just something to make uh, be aware of. I mean, you can kind of see right there, I'm pulling them out. However, if you are somebody who likes to lay your baby hairs down, I think these would be perfect for that. Um, and then again, since it's a little bit thicker, I'm just kind of trying to blend it in with the hair and have minimal baby hair be noticeable. So you can have um, however you want the baby hairs to be with your preference. I think they'll work either way. Uh, she does have uh, some thicker edges here since she's not pre-plucked. And you can also see what I was talking about before with the um, the rooting being a little bit too harsh, I guess, just looking at the edges here, you can see it a little bit more that way. Um, but I do like how she's fitting around the edges and she doesn't have too bad of lift up either. Since I am not one that likes to glue wigs down, if you are like me, then you don't really have to worry about it all too much. 
Uh, she is also um, ha also has ear tabs that are right above each ear, perfectly fitting. She's really comfortable, and I do think she's larger head friendly, so she should work out for everybody, in my opinion. Um, I don't really have many cons about her. I think the only one I have has to do with the color and the way they did the roots. But again, I just want to lift this up for you. And you can also see, too, some more of those golden tones. I mean, I just do it like this. Sometimes just lifting up the uh, sides shows a little bit more detail. So I might as well do that for you because <laughs> I want you to know it all. Uh, but... I am really happy with her. I truly am. Like I already mentioned, I figured that she was going to be very popular. And sure enough, I was right. She was selling out really quickly in a lot of colors. Uh, so I'm not sure if she's available in several colors anywhere else as of right now. That you just have to do a little bit of research on if you are interested. But I definitely think she is worth it. She is thumbs up. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Most wigs from Outre are. I really do love their quality. And they can really come up with some great styles and colors. So, yeah. That's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> but I do want to hear from you. Don't forget to give me your respectful feedback in the comments. Let me know if you picked her up already, since I'm sure a lot of you already have. I would like to know what color you have her in and how you feel about her now that you do have her. And please also let me know if you decide to go pick her up after watching this review. But that's all I have for you guys today. I just like to keep it on an even keel, let you know all the details, and leave it at that. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time in my next video. So until then, bye-bye.